Hot Shot Racing is a relatively recent game that was out a couple of months ago. It's all about recreating the uh, the experience of the arcade racers from the, the 90s, more or less. So they took, um, as you can see from the, the different videos here, the look from uh, you know the polygon racers at the time, um, using uh, very like vivid colors, um, contrasts, and, and you know I would say low polygon scene. Actually, it's not that low polygon as, as it was during the 90s. So they definitely uh, using modern technologies, and I would say. Uh, uh, modern modeling tool probably uh, but still it's just made to look like that uh, while well, it's not as simple as it used to be and the I mean the driving experience is very simple um, it's basically accelerates um, and uh, you accumulate a gauge of uh, something like nitro uh, when, when you drift uh, you control drift your car and, and once you have enough uh, in that gauge um, you can start to uh, basically uh, increase the boost and, and therefore you can pass your opponents this way. And the goal is more or less to uh, you know, make it on time to the next checkpoint and then of course be on top of that be as much as possible in the first uh, position at the end of the race, as you can imagine. It's uh, So when you first start playing it, uh, it's actually pretty great, like you feel like it's really well done, it's, it's smooth, it plays very well, it's, it's very intuitive. You start with very very nice impression. Like in the beginning, I was really enthusiastic about this game. But then more, the more I played about it, the more I realized that the, the gameplay is actually really shallow. The problem, one of the main problems, is that the uh, while the uh, the design of the different tracks is, is very very nicely done, they kind of feel the same. So with the same kind of turn, the same kind of um, I would say uh, design. And uh, despite the fact that they look very different visually, um, they, they don't feel very different to drive themselves. There's not really any challenge in driving either. Um, you can see that it's pretty easy to always make it to the, to the next curve, uh, almost at max speed, uh, even while drifting. Uh, so it, it doesn't feel like very uh, rewarding, as in like you don't really build experience and build skills as, as you're playing this game. Like I, I was giving that example in my article about this is you basically after you get used to you know a couple of races, you always finish first, uh, more or less, uh, unless you really uh, <laughs> mess up somehow. But uh, it's really easy basically to finish first on new tracks uh, that you've never played before, which because they are so similar to the other tracks you've just been before. So that's, that's a big issue, I'd say. Uh, it, it's a shame because um, if the game was a little bit more challenging and more varied in, in the way you approach a different track, I think it would, be, it would have been a much, much more solid game. Also, um, the, the AI or whatever is, is <laughs> whatever is left of it is it, very simple. It's, it's simply basically uh, some kind of robot band AI where um, they, they catch you up no matter how fast you go. Uh, and uh, it's always a, a game of cat and mouse. And the trick to, to always win is basically uh, just follow in, in third or fourth position uh, behind your, your main opponents uh, all the time. Don't try to be first and just accumulate your 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 nitro or your, your gauge basically uh, as long as you can and make sure you have two or three left uh, at the end of the race so that you can actually overtake them at the very last uh, you know, lap or at the very lap end of the lap. And then you, you're always guaranteed to be first. Uh, it's, it's almost without fail. It gets more difficult if you increase difficulty to like very hard or hardest levels. Uh, but it's just like they, they are much faster than, than usual. And, and it's kind of feels a lot more artificial than the regular obviously, difficulty levels. The different cars or uh, players um, don't feel very different at all either, apart from the, I would say, a couple of um, uh, I say cosmetic aspects. And yeah, I think that that's mostly um, I think my impression of the game. Uh, I just I think it's, it's a shame because they did a lot of work to, to make the game I think excellent visually speaking. And then uh, I think it's kind of let down that the, the game itself, in terms of driving experience, is pretty pretty poor. Uh, if you if you look at the uh, virtual racer from the you know the, the old days or Daytona USA, they were a lot more challenging to drive. Uh, you, you really had to break uh, before like you know very drastic curves. Otherwise, you would, you would really go outside uh, of the track and, and you would lose a lot of time. So here, there's nothing like that. It's, it's really too easy. Uh, it's too simple. And uh, and I wish they would have made uh, things a little bit more, um, I think, uh, fun, actually, to, to, to play. Um, instead of going for uh, too, uh, too arcade uh, feel at this time. 
Yep, so that, that's my that's my point. I think you will see that many people actually um, love this game uh, on Steam and other places. So uh, I may be in the minority here uh, to, to have a, I think, critical opinion of it, but I stand by it. Uh, I don't think it's very good uh, because I, I've played a lot of arcade racers uh, since my early age. Uh, and, and honestly speaking, this is one of the poorest uh, one in terms of uh, mechanics. I hope this can improve if they ever do a second version, but you know, um, since the feedback has been very positive on the first, first game they did here, uh, I'm not sure that they are now uh, they have an incentive to improve. So really, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, click on subscribe if you're watching this on uh, any of our social networks, and uh, make sure you catch up for our next content as well. Goodbye and have a good day.